Okay, first thing I'd like to just go over quickly will be um, the walls themselves. Um, I noticed they're not exactly straight. If I just draw a line using my ortho setting, which is F8, you can see that it's not hitting it. And, and also the cleanup a little bit. Let's just fill it that and just clean it up. So. Um, if you click on the wall itself, you can see that it is, where is it, right here, rotation. Uh, it's off slightly. Um, so let's just try to keep that at, um, at 90 degrees or, you know, 0 degrees or 270 degrees, something that is uh, orthogonal. Um, I've just straightened it out now. And uh, there's happened in a couple of spots. This one is good, but I noticed that one's good. Anyway. Um, there's a couple that were just tweaked and, and it'll help um, in the long run if things are just straightened out. So that's one thing. Um, the second is I see that you cut in for doors and windows. You left the doors and now it makes sense to me why your doors weren't um, showing up. So with the version of AutoCAD we're using, there's no need to leave the break. Basically, let's go to, um, I'll bring in my door schedule. Um, so you can see what's happening here. Um, not my door schedule, my tool palette. And we'll go over to doors, and I'll just select uh, a hinge single. Basically what AutoCAD wants to do is you pick the wall, and it's going to cut it for you. There's no need no, any longer to break the wall, and that'll happen anywhere. We can, we can do this again. We can zoom in here and put a door wherever we like. It's going to break it. Um, if we go to properties, you can change the size. Let's go to make this one um, one foot just so you can see it graphically. That'll be changing a big difference. Boom, right down to one foot. So it'll resize the opening as you need it. There's no need to actually break the wall. Um, the same goes for windows. Let's switch over to the uh, windows tool palette. And I'll go to picture and just click on the wall you want it anywhere you want it and it's going to cut the wall for you again um, if you go click on it and click on properties you can change the size heights and widths and resize it um, I guess those were the two big things um, that will help you and it's my fault I did not give you enough direction to start this so don't feel like it's your fault uh, it is a, lo a lot to pick up um, but those two things are, are going to help you a lot. So hope this helped and um, I'll send the next project along soon. Thank you.